Howdy and welcome back. I, uh, I'm still working on this white Stratocaster from the school's music department. And I really hate to say this, but I'm starting to hate this guitar. At first I was a little bit intrigued. It's got microphonic pickups. They were kind of interesting to play with. Once it's all back together, I'll try to make sure I can get some of the peculiar noises that this thing makes. Um, the bridge pickup was actually pretty warm sounding. I was really wanting to like this guitar, um, but it is a it is a pretty big pile of crap. It's, I don't know, it's like one of these hundred dollar guitars. It became very obvious as I'm taking it apart how cheaply it was made uh, from tuning machines whose screws weren't even seated down completely. Um, very sharp fret ends, which I'm realizing are not just sharp fret ends, but they're also slightly sprung so that the um, even dressing them up a little bit, they're still going to hold a little bit of an edge there. Uh, what I should do, and honestly, if you have a guitar, you're suspicious of how well the frets are seated. You take something, you know, it's the thickness of a paper, but you don't want paper. Uh, you take your two thousandths feeler gauge, if you have a set of feeler gauges. And if a two thousandths gauge can fit up underneath and, and get hung, you know the frets are not very good. I have a suspicion that most of the fret edges, I could probably get a five thousandths. I haven't tested that yet, but that they're pretty lousy. Um, there's a couple of high frets. I'll take care of that, like I mentioned. And, and so that is what it is. Um, when I've got the neck off, the neck pocket is ugly. Uh, it is not, it was not a tight fit. Um, it didn't sit in there nicely. It is routed, very ugly. And it had sawdust inside of it. So how can you possibly get that neck situated in there properly with sawdust? I believe what happened was somebody basically just propped this up, stuck a neck in and drilled and then didn't even take it off and blow the dust out. They just pounded the screws in there. And again, not very well. One of these screws was backing out or was never seated completely. I don't know. The whole thing was just put together horribly, really horribly. So I finally got the pick guard off, which was a chore. And so now I understand why I was asked to do this because when I finally was taking the pick guard off here, I've had other things going on. Uh, the two screws down by the bridge were very ugly boogered. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna have to really get in there carefully with the screwdriver and really uh, put the pressure to it. Um, and I, I had these things starting to round off but they were turning. When I really leaned on it, they were turning, but the turning was not doing anything. So then I tried to wedge a screwdriver under and lift while turning. Still very little response. What finally got this thing off was putting a sheet of paper down for protection and putting a chisel point in underneath. And the pressure of the chisel under the pick guard, I had to be careful, I didn't want to break it. But if you have something like this, you, you know, this thing had to come off. The, the switch has to be replaced and how else do I do that? My only other idea was to drill out the heads and boy, that really would have been something because here's what I found. Two of these, but both of them by the bridge and both, obviously somebody has tried to take these out and failed at it. I don't know if you will see. It is a smooth shank up there by the head and then the threads are smaller than the shank. I believe what happened was they drilled a hole big enough for the shank because they were using the wrong, all the other screws were the proper screws. Um, this hole was drilled bigger, and I believe somebody set this in the hole and whacked it in with, this, with a hammer, because this was driven in more like a nail. That's why it was turning, but not backing out. There was nothing for the threads to bite in. But finally, when I wedged with the chisel and turned, it gradually came up, 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 not because of the threads, but just because it was turning and moving. And then I finally had to finish with a little miniature pry bar, a little, a little like cat's paw in there and that took it the rest of the way out and then when I looked at it, it made perfect sense what had happened it was just held in with friction and when I was putting enough pressure on to turn it it was enough pressure that it would not back out it what a piece of junk who does that to a guitar I don't care where it's made who uses that on the pick guard so anyway I'll have to then take a little piece of dowel or something Fill the holes, redrill them appropriately. And then, so all these holes are, all the holes are misaligned. Every hole in the pick guard just misses by a little bit. So even the ones that are put in properly, 
they all came out very tough because they're like grinding against the pick guard as they're threading in and out. I'll stop. Listen, it's just very badly made. It's just, again, this is, I, I had no idea what I was getting myself into with, I guess, like, like I said, it's like a hundred dollar guitar. It's probably a hundred dollar guitar, strap, cheap amplifier, and, you know, three picks, you know. But anyway, I got the darn thing off. And um, so what I have here is this really funky switch that's hanging off with a really lousy looking wire job. I'm not a fan of this. Very small gauge wire. Um, it's going to be very hard to deal with it and solder it. What I'm going to do is just disconnect everything from that switch. I have the other switch mounted already. This switch is funky. There's, it's a weird switch. Basically, all I'm going to do is wire the existing pickups to the new switch. Uh, I think I'm going to wire both tone controls on. This is just a student guitar. I think they would rather have a tone on the bridge also. Um, so I'm just going to wire both. I'm going to wire all three pickups into the tone. Both tones, maybe. I don't know. I just want this thing to work and be done with it. Because honestly, um, what I would like to do is just hit a couple points, you know, clip a couple things, a little wire and hit with solder, put it back together, and then forget I ever saw this thing. Uh, and I hate to say that, but um, slap that back together and then a little bit of a little bit of crowning file on just those high spots in the frets. And I guess I'll, I'll polish the frets because I'd like to make them a little bit nicer. I'll dress the ends, make that nicer. But, uh, you know, the purpose of this video is to talk about taking a cheap guitar, doing some, you know, fixing some things up. My last series was taking a medium grade guitar and making it play really nice. And that guitar is a rock and roll animal. Uh, this was meant to be taking a, a subpar guitar and just making it passable. And uh, wow, I'm a little bit shocked with workmanship. It, the this late mod, I'm assuming this is probably only, you know, made in the last ten years. I haven't played a lot of new guitars in the last ten years, but um, you know, I hate to say it, made in China Squire. You know, my buddy had a Squire back in the '90s that I thought was a pretty decent guitar. You know, it wasn't it wasn't premium, um, but it was a player. It was fun to play. It sounded great. And this thing is like, kind of feels like a pile of junk. But my motivation is this is a pile of junk that some eighth grade kid might pick up or some ninth grade kid picks up in music class and says, hey, this, this is something I'm into and I want to get better at this. So no matter what I feel about the quality and workmanship of this compared to something like a guitar that I've assembled or worked on more extensively, you know, no matter what I might think, um, this is a student guitar. It needs to make the right sounds and be able to be put in tune and hopefully inspire somebody to learn and want to practice and like play with other people. And so at the end of the day, I'm going to, I'm going to stop complaining and, and put a little bit of elbow grease in and finish things off and hopefully have this back. Um, there's no guitar class right now, so there's no hurry. But I want to get it all put back together and take it back so that um, I can be done with it. And um, like I said, put it in the hands of kids who can get some experience with it, I hope. So anyway, I just wanted to put a quick video up about getting that pick guard off. Quite shocked, you know. So... Unfortunately, a couple of things I'm fixing are really annoying things. Dressing frets that are really subpar, um, filling and re-drilling a hole in the body that had the wrong kind of screw hammered into it. I mean, just really weird stuff. Um, but it is what it is. And some people watching this have a cheap guitar. Some people watching this have a nice guitar and that old cheap one gathering dust that you maybe want to hand down to somebody, pass on to somebody, and you know it needs some help. Well... Make it the best it can be and pass it on to that person. Uh, but, but, but pass on a guitar that can be tuned and that can play because you don't want to pass on a cheap guitar that's going to frustrate somebody. You want it to be able to at least make the right sounds and feel good in their hands. And if it's a Strat, it's got to look cool like you're rocking out when you're playing it. So it is what it is. That's that for today. I got a lot of other stuff to do, but I wanted to just, I had to rant for a minute. I'll get over it and I'll put this thing back together. Have a good one.